All right, welcome. So uh, I recently just made the decision to, uh, you know, make an attempt at a through hike at the Appalachian Trail, and uh, you know, I make fun of myself and pick on myself of just how clueless I've been, and I've been down some rabbit holes since I made this decision. Uh, and it's been a lot of fun, but uh, I want to talk about a couple of those, uh, you know, and also one that I kind of cleared up today. Um, but first, I want to talk about this hoodie and and. It came in today, and that's one of the things I had to kind of research. Uh, I didn't know the difference. I'm a Florida kid, and I didn't know the difference really between synthetic or and fleece or cotton or wool or capilene. I, you know, I, I really didn't. Uh, so as I started to dig, uh, I realized, you know, different things. And uh, so everything I've done so far, I've had to go on down this this hole of research. And and uh, I bought a I bought from some big, pretty big companies out there like Patagonia and uh, Outdoor Research and um, amongst, you know, some other some other companies too. But I bought this after researching it. I got some pretty good reviews uh, on Reddit and things of that nature. And it's a Squawk Mountain microgrid fleece hoodie. And, and it was a little more affordable. I think this one came in at $59.99. And, and you know it has everything that you're supposedly looking for out there right and uh and it had some good reviews and it was an affordable option and so i uh, i pulled the trigger on this and and uh figuring i would try it out and see if it would go in my backpack or not and i bought some other things from other companies as well but the reason i'm mentioning them is uh they actually took the time to not only send the, the hoodie in a timely manner, but they sent me a personalized note and it says, uh, Howard, thanks for ordering a squawk and helping it get somewhere much warmer than Utah. Hope you enjoy, Hamilton. And I don't know who that is, but I really thought it was cool that a small company like that took the time to write a personal note. And, and I wonder if they do that to everybody that orders from them. And I think that's pretty cool because I didn't get those kind of things from anywhere else. And uh, so I thought I would mention that at least. No, I don't get paid. I don't even know them. I didn't even know this fleece existed before a week ago. But I thought it was actually kind of cool and something I wanted to kind of share at least. And, uh, and I'll put some pictures up of me wearing it too. And it's... Uh, it's actually pretty nice so it doesn't have as this one doesn't have a zipper on it i tried to cut costs as, as much as i can but but just because in the note it's going to make it in my uh backpack so uh and i bought some other stuff too like a ferocity uh uh microgrid sweatshirt as well to kind of compare in the capoline so but this one already won my heart just from the uh the note all right so one of the other rabbit holes that I've been down the last couple of days is how am I going to vlog this? And uh, I've considered all kinds of things, whether it was a GoPro or or uh, a Diage Osmo and all these different systems and that I have no idea how to use. So, so I just made the decision that I would stick with my iPhone uh, Pro Max, iPhone 14 Pro Max, and. Uh, so I started researching power banks and that was a rabbit hole and, uh, and how I could efficiently charge them relatively quickly and get back on trail. And, and then I ran into the problem of my iPhone 14 Pro Max is only 256 uh, gigabytes and, and I was trying to transfer and, and uh, some of the data to free up some space and because it might be weeks before I can you know, edit and upload things. And uh, and I had no idea how to solve this. And it, I've been doing this for a couple of days now, looking into ulterior methods. And, you know, if you delete it from the cloud or you delete it from your phone, it comes off the cloud and uh, as well. So, sorry about that. So after a lot of uh, frustration and, and talking to experts and, and research, I decided to buy an additional iPhone um, one terabyte 
Now, I, I really, really hate to carry two iPhones out there. Um, you know, if I'm gonna spend that kind of money, I would have I would have rather had a different type of uh, higher resolution type camera. That, but it, by the time I go down that rabbit hole of figuring out how to use it and the batteries that that's gonna need and the power that that's gonna need as well and the accessories, the tripods and microphones, not to mention how do you edit off grid, right? Or offline. And uh, so I just decided to grab another iPhone um, and I will carry two. So hopefully I can get two angles on some things and, and I will try to edit those things together. I'm figuring that out as well. But uh, but I just thought it was gonna be more efficient. It's, it's lesser weight. It's already along with what I have, and it's not gonna hurt me if one of them goes dead, I have the other one. So both of them will be active with, with uh, you know, a phone line and a number, and, um, and I can use the same system I have now to charge them, and, and it's kind of dummy proof, and keep it simple uh, for now. Um, so, but it's been a long couple days of, uh, <laughs> You know, I, I don't get frustrated very much and uh, I'm kind of a live in the moment guy, but I could find myself certainly, uh, you know, reaching the paradox of life right there is, there's never like an easy solution. It's uh, pick your poison and and and, uh, and live with it. So I have two iPhones out on the trail and uh, I know you'll probably say, why don't I just turn the one in and upgrade it to the other one? But uh you know, I still owe money on the first one. So uh, it was cheaper and easier to start another line and um, for an extra $40 a month. And it's not $1,000 more out of my pocket for the amount of money I spent on the gear. So uh, the easiest, simplest solution was to just grab another iPhone, uh, start another line and, and uh, take care of it over time. So hope you guys are laughing with me. I hope you understand my... Uh, the difficult nature of making a decision like this, uh, having zero experience and, and zero knowledge of a lot of intricate things that happen, and, uh, including the gear, the power. Uh, I still got a bug spray, Promethrian, everything that ticks. I didn't know anything about that. So uh, it seems like every corner I've turned, there's been, you know, a lot of information to soak in before I even get on the trail. So, uh, but I'm still excited, still looking forward to it. And, Getting my, uh, getting this part done so when I can go out there, I could be completely in the moment. Appreciate you guys.